Materialism is the rebellious teenager of philosophy, insisting that everything, even your deepest thoughts and that crush you had in high school, is just a fancy dance of particles. It's like claiming the entire cosmos is one big Lego set, and we're all just really complicated sculptures. Forget ghosts, souls, or your astral projection vacation plans. We're talking about a universe that's all physical, all the time. This Matter Matters Most movement got its gym membership in ancient Greece, but really started pumping iron during the Enlightenment. Thinkers like Thomas Hobbes were flexing their mental muscles, arguing that even our thoughts are just brain confetti. Materialists are the ultimate show-me-the-money philosophers. They're not buying any explanations involving mystical energies or invisible forces. For them, consciousness is just the brain's way of humble bragging about its complexity and free will, just the deterministic universe's inside joke. Some materialists argue that even abstract concepts like love or justice are just complex arrangements of matter. It's like saying Shakespeare's sonnets are really just very well-organized ink particles. Today, materialism is the philosophical Red Bull of neuroscience and AI research. It's the backstage pass to understanding consciousness, the universe, and everything in between. It's got scientists poking brains and philosophers arm wrestling over the nature of reality. In our world of quantum weirdness and digital lives, materialism reminds us to keep it real, really physical that is. It's the ultimate reality check in a post-truth world. So next time you're contemplating the meaning of life, remember, according to materialism, you're not having an existential crisis. You're just experiencing a particularly groovy arrangement of atoms. Thank you for watching and I will materialize myself into the next one.